Alrighty, guys. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening. Um, well, for some of you, you might be watching the replay. It's a totally different day. I don't know why I keep saying that. You know, I come on here and I always say what day it is. And um, I should just get right to it. Nobody really cares, do they? So, you know what? I'm still learning. I do this every day. And I'm still learning. I also want to go ahead and grab my headphones. My Air AirPods. So, everybody can hear me well. Hi, Annette. Hello. Welcome, everybody. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Um, guys, cheated. Nobody be mad. I cho totally cheated on this makeover we've been working on together. This is like part five. Um, okay, part five, and I am a big fat cheater. So, the other day, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Um, I got off, our, got off of the live with you guys, and I got so excited. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Kathy. Um, I got so excited about painting these denim jeans with paint and splattering them that I did it without you guys. <sighs> ah. So I got too excited and it was more one of those things where I got off of the live and I thought, I'm sitting here staring at it and thought, hi Brenda, I have to know if this is gonna work. Like I have this vision and as an artist it was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it now, I gotta do it. And instead of turning the, the camera back on, I needed to secretly know if I could get it done before I wanted to go further in that direction. Does that make sense? So, hi Miss Judy, hi Candy. Um, so here's what I did. Yesterday on the live, I ended up waxing with black and then I ax, uh, and white, okay? So this is what you're looking at. This is done and we're getting ready to do this like this, okay? So hold tight, because I've got these colors and we're gonna splatter paint, okay? Um, I splatter on my canvases all the time. I do finger painting. Um, I've had a workshop in Reclaimed Warehouse where the ladies came and we splatter painted. We splattered a piece of furniture. Um, anyway, so this is what I want you to imagine. I told you it was gonna be denim jeans, but guys, I just couldn't go traditional. I know this is a beautiful French provincial piece, right? Like it needs to be traditional. I could not do it. I was bored with it. I love how the denim looks faded. I used the colors. Like if this is your first time popping on here, first off, my name is Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris. I'm the owner and artist um, behind that name. I'm also a business coach and I teach classes all the time. So I come on here as much as I can to teach you how to paint and use DIY paint. I use it exclusively because it's my favorite. Um, so my goal was to recreate a finish that I did in the summer of 2017 where it was a blue denim finish, faded jeans, okay? Um, everybody loves a good pair of faded blue jeans. So I started with Hey Sailor and then I added a color called Letter Press Gray and Mint Chip. The Mint Chip is the key to a faded denim jean look, okay guys? Write that down and add black wax to it. So we did black wax yesterday and then we added some white wax into it. Kind of, we worked it in in a circular motion, okay? And then I left the live and said, we'll be back tomorrow to splatter. But then I went ahead and did this. So I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can take a look. And then we're gonna make this side look similar to this. So, hold on. I'm gonna be as steady as I can. Okay, so I put the hardware on and I took Golden Ticket, which is a product called, it's a liquid patina right here, okay? It's also by DIY. I pressed it on here, which we're gonna do here in a minute on the other side. And then I sprayed it with water and I let it drip, okay? So I took the colors Kissing Booth, Queen Bee, and mermaid tail and I splattered it as if these were a painter's favorite pair of old faded jeans, okay? So the, the buttons, okay, it's all your interpretation. Um, I know it's a little bit crazy up in here, but I promise you the desired effect, I feel like I portrayed it pretty well and my interpretation kind of came out so too good, so not too good, pretty good. Um, what I'm trying to say is I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to finish it because this does not have a wax on it because I did wax before I put the splatter on, okay? Um, 
I need to seal it with clear, but I'm letting it cure for a couple more days before I seal the entire thing, okay? So imagine a pair of denim jeans, the sides and the top will be, you know, like the sides and um, the rest of the den denim. So I will not be putting paint splatter on the sides or on the top, just because when you're wearing a pair of jeans, you traditionally will get the paint right from the knee up, correct? Like your knee's gonna be the faded area, so you wanna pretend that's kind of your mint chip, and then the paint goes all right here in your thighs, right? The paint, and occasionally you get some down here, and occasionally you're gonna get some on your shoes, and occasionally you might, you know, back into it and get some right there on your butt. But I don't really wanna put paint on the back, and I don't really wanna put it on the top because I want it to be a smooth surface. So the plan for the top is just to do navy, um, all the, the whole top, and then add a little bit of black and white wax. Um, yes. Yes, Chrissy. I waxed first, and then I splattered. Um, so I'm really happy with the results. I had posted a, a, a um, thanks Q. I posted an updated photo, and so today I worked on getting this side, which was really not even painted at all, um, up to this side. Okay, so now it's time for us to splatter and add the golden ticket to our hardware and then let it dry. Okay? Okay, so again, I grabbed golden ticket, which is our liquid patina from DIY, mermaid tail, kissing booth, queen bee. So you see that I have blue, pink, and yellow basically. Use any color you have, any brand you have, whatever's your favorite. That's what I recommend. I like to use um, DIY. I'm gonna start, the very first thing I did yesterday was the golden ticket. So we've waxed with two different colors. We're gonna do this part, we're gonna let it cure, and then I will do the entire piece clear once I get the top and the sides done. Again, I will not splatter the sides. I mean, I may put like a, like a random string of yellow across the side here or something. Um, but I won't, won't get any on top, or at least I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to get any on top. Um, I don't know if you guys caught my painting, but I did, oh gosh, maybe a few weeks ago. Um, ended up being, it was totally random, and I ended up um, making it kind of look like a pond with the sprays from the, from the side. Anyway, it sold pretty quickly. I was really happy with the way that that turned out, and it's an awful lot of fun to do it like this. But I tell everybody, if you're gonna do it, you gotta throw your fast pitch. You can't be coming in with a curveball because it's gotta come in hot, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna take the handles right now. I've already waxed this, guys. I've already put the black and the white wax on, okay? So if you're just not popping on, we're going for a faded blue denim look with in the, these, this piece being a painter's favorite pair of jeans. Nobody panic. I'm gonna do this side just like I did the other side. You saw that I used my, oh, I need the, the phone plugged in. Um, you saw that I used my Paint Pixie French tip. I almost always use this brush for adding golden ticket to anything. You can use obviously any metallic that you have. Hi Chandra. All right, so my water bottle. I no I've noticed I'm letting this sit for a minute. It's on top of the wax and I wanna give it a few minutes. Golden ticket is one of those that it does better to just kinda of let it run and do its thing naturally and organically before you start blasting it with water. So we're gonna pretend the hardware are our buttons on our jeans. I thought about using copper, because you know I like to mix marquee with my golden ticket to make a copper. And I actually did that a little bit in a couple of places and just kind of splattered it. Forgot I used that. I, it's hard for me not to use that now on every single furniture makeover that I've been doing. 
So I'm just kind of letting it sit for a minute. It looks really shiny right now, but it does dry. As the water evaporates from the Golden Ticket, it looks a lot softer, but it ends up being such a beautiful finish. Oh, Dana, thank you, honey. This is your first time catching. I appreciate you so much for being here. Okay, so now that it's sitting there, I'm gonna take my brush again, okay? take my brush again you know people are selling these jeans for hundreds of dollars in the big stores it's like any brand name can put out anything on all of us painters have plenty of jeans I mean I have to actually paint mine because I'm, I'm pretty good about not making a mess but I do have a pair of overalls that I painted and I have a pair of white jeans that are like flared leg and they're my favorite white jeans but I, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little subcon, I'm way too self-conscious to go out in public with them on. This piece is so neat. Thank you, Judy. Um, okay, so I need to, while that does its thing, it just starts to grit, drip and go down or, organically. It's not gonna be as bright. It's gonna set up on the hardware. Over here on this piece, the hardware has the gold dried on. You guys, I gave a close-up already, but before we get off of here, you guys remind me, we need to take another close-up, okay? All right, so I want you to start with your darkest color first when you do your splatter, because if you start with your brightest color, you may put too much on. So, because we have a blue, a pink, and a yellow, the darkest color is gonna be considered your blue. It's um, the one we can use more of to still get our desired effect, but we're gonna use less of the bright color, okay? So, I'm gonna grab mermaid tail, and the way I do my splatters, I literally just put my fingers right on in. You can't necessarily tell, but there's a lot more blue mermaid tail on this than there is yellow. You need very little. So start with a darker color, whatever you're planning on putting on here. And just pretend that these are my old Levi's button up jeans. They're faded. Um, and I'm gonna make sure you can see. So I'm literally just gonna do this, guys and dip my fingers in there and just go like this. I'm leaving the hardware on, on purpose. If you have a chunk, like I have a bunch on here, I may just casually go like that, as if I got too much. I'm gonna go all the way to the edge too, because I want it to like flip all the way off the edge and onto the feet down here don't skip anywhere and if you need a glob just because you need a bigger consistency go ahead and make a glob but not too big okay I'm gonna kind of compare and I feel like that's plenty of blue okay so I'm gonna wipe my hands and I'm gonna come back with the kissing booth Oh, Chandra, you're going to love it, sister. Thanks for sharing this video. You guys are awesome. I'm having a lot of fun. We're on part five of this one. So I'm coming in with pink. Woo! Shows up a lot more. And I'm doing my fingers different ways because I don't want it. And if you flick your hand up and then down, you can almost make it at an angle. Okay, I think that's all the pink I need, other than I kind of want a glob. And if you get a glob too big, you can always um, spray it if you want it a little bit, but I don't really want any color drips. Does that make sense? I don't want any color drips, especially I don't really like them on pink or in red colors because I don't like droopy red and pink because it makes me think of something else. All right, now let's do the yellow. I'm gonna grab Queen Bee. I also thought orange might be fun. So if you're thinking orange, I say go for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with yellow. And I don't need very much, but remember, you gotta use some power behind me. You gotta come in with a fastball, none of this, um, none of this curveball -y stuff, okay? You gotta really jerk your arm to kind of get the paint off of your finger. And if you're popping on here and you're like, this girl is nuts, yeah, this might not be the show for you, because because I've just decided this piece needed something. Like, 
Yes. Okay. I do want to go ahead and make sure I put a little copper on here because I did use it in a few areas on the each drawer, so I do need to grab my copper. I forgot to grab it. If you guys have questions, I'm so sorry. Teresa Lockhart, you shared this. I love you. It's good if you don't have time. If you guys are driving home from work and you want to watch it later, if you share it, it'll be on your own page. It'll be a lot easier to find than going back and searching all my videos. I just posted a new class today, too. An online class, a new one. For February, the end of February, I just posted that today and made that available on my website too at the Turquoise Cyrus. All right, so I have copper. What is copper? Mm. So I took my golden ticket. It was almost gone. It was almost like this much. And I put a few drops of marquee and then I stirred it up really well. It makes the prettiest copper. And I put some over here, here, and there's a little bit, just, just very, very little but we don't want to miss out. Because this is kind of chunky, it's going to take a while to dry. I know this is hard for y'all to see, but it's on here. I'm going to kind of put a little on the hardware, a little on the hardware, and a little on the hardware, and see if I can get it to kind of drip a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys look close, I promise. I already did it at the beginning, but now that we've splatter painted this side to look like that side, um, we might have a better idea of what our faded blue denim jeans are gonna look like. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Crystal. Okay. So at this point, we've done everything. I've done everything here that I've done over here. This is just wet. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit more water and see if I can get this golden ticket to even run a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So the next thing that I'll need to do is let this dry and set up completely. I'll need to work on the sides and we can do that together over the next couple of days too. Um, and the top and then I'll put a clear wax over the entire thing. Um, after I get the sides and the top looking like denim, but I'm not going to splatter paint it any any other place um, But I'm pretty happy with it. I think that um, it looks a lot different over on that side because it's all dry I've been working on this section all day off and on um, I'm so glad you're here you guys. So uh, let me move you closer All right, so this is completely dry And this is not, this is not. Okay. Do you ever tire of hearing how incredible you are? Oh, gee willikers. You are so nice to me and I don't deserve that. Right? It didn't, it, I know, it's, it's not the type that should be this way. I don't know why I'm defying, I'm being defiant this week. It's not the type of dresser that you would typically use, do a denim piece with splatter paint. But I wanted it to still have a feminine look, feminine look. So let's say these are not just Levi jeans. Let's call these, what are a fancy pair of jeans? Like glamorous pair of jeans. I don't even know because I don't have any of those. But um, they're definitely, um, oh, you know what I didn't tell you? I forgot. If you were on here with me, then you saw me use these um, I where I squirted. Because in person, you can see a lot of my color setting here. There's like a teal here that I created. Um, and there's some green drips. And it's hard to see from there all the things I did here. Um, but that was back in a either part three, I think. Painter's jeans. Yes, they're a painter's favorite pair. Let's go with Gloria Vanderbilt. How about chic? 
chic one? Did they, was there a pair of chic jeans? Gloria Vanderbilt, that is classic. Um, if you're just now popping on, guys, we just did some boom, some paint splatter jeans from True Religion or 249. Yes. Yes. Miss Me's. Yeah, I don't know if those are real glamorous. Um, again, sevens, I don't really think, feel, I don't know, I don't think of them as glamorous. Um, I know Miss Me's are like flashy. Chic, says Crystal. That's what I'm thinking. I'm chic from the 80s. Um, my True Religions and my Sevens. Now, I do have a pair of old Sevens that are called Dojos. Does anybody have any pair like that? Fancy pants. So I bought these when I was pregnant with Holden, who's 13, and I still have them. You know why I have them? To make sure I can fit in them. Because I bought them when I was pregnant, so I was 40 pounds heavier, and I put them in layaway where I worked, because I got them at a discount. And I was like, my goal is to have those two pair. I bought two pair. And they were the dojo. So those are the wide leg, because I love wide legs. Um, so after I had Holden, I stared at those every day in my closet. I was like, I gotta get in those. I gotta get in those. I gotta get in those. I got in them. I didn't stay in them very long. But I still have them. <laughs> They're on the shelf right there in the, in the closet. And every once in a while I pull them out and I wedge them up my thighs and I lay down on the bed and I go, oh Lord, about to break the zipper today. And I get them up and then I can't breathe and then I pull them off as fast as I can and go, okay, I can still get in them. <laughs> Bottom one holding was in my belly 13 years ago, 14 years ago, really. Okay, so guys, I'm looking forward to this drawing and um, I'll probably snap some photos I snapped some photos of this yesterday and said, sneak peek, your jeans are mocking you, right? They're like, ha, 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 lady, you're crazy. Um, but I'm really liking the way that it's going. Golden ticket is a patina, not paint, if I have it right. That's exactly right. It's more like a glaze. So traditionally, in the 90s, we were using glazes. We were taking like a cocoa glaze and we were wiping it off and it would get down in the cabinet doors really heavy. Um, that's what golden or uh, liquid patina is. Um, it's like a glaze. And it, it can be used as a top coat. <laughs> um, any more questions for me? Otherwise, it's time to go make some dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Um, so you guys, if you're just not popping on here, your dittos from the 70s? Oh man, I don't know what those are. I didn't have any dittos. I got my dojos. I got my dojos from the sevens. Um, Lord, I still have size threes in my closet for inspiration. Go Inga, go. Go. Threes. What? Put my arm in there. All right, if nobody has any more questions, I'm gonna let you go. Have a great evening. I will be back um, probably tomorrow because we've got to get this thing done. I can't wait to finish it and get it online and featured um, and available for somebody to bring it home. I appreciate you all. Have an awesome night. Good night.